Today we're going to show you how to perform some keyword research so that you can find keywords and topics to rank your YouTube videos for and we're going to do it using vidIQ. So what exactly are we searching for? First of all, we want something that's relevant, something relevant to our channel that's going to actually serve our audience. And then second of all, what we want is a balance between something that's got enough searches to give us some views and low competition that we can easily rank in the top results of search. Now this means that uh, as you get better and have more authority on YouTube, you can actually go for more higher competition keywords. But I do recommend starting with low competition and building the difficulty as you grow. Now if you haven't signed up for vidIQ already, there's a link in the description below that you can go to uh, and sign up. Once you have signed up, we're gonna log in. And you'll notice I've got a bit of information here my channel is linked up. When you sign up, you will be asked to authenticate your YouTube channel. And that means that vidIQ can go and find out information about your channel and give you recommendations of what's gonna work. So before we get into this, you might notice there's a few handy things here, such as, you know, when's the best time to post and that sort of thing. But uh, there's also keyword opportunities as well as search terms for your channel. So I'm gonna go up here to keywords at the top and just show you a few things. First of all, we can simply have a bit of a shotgun approach. We can sort of look around and try and find what we want. But first of all, let's look at what we have here. The top search terms for your channel. This can be a very powerful feature because if I'm ranking, I rank very well for MailChimp despite it being only a few videos in my channel. If I decide, okay, I wanna do more uh, work for a MailChimp video, I can click on MailChimp newsletter tutorial or MailChimp newsletter. Any one of these I can click and it's actually gonna recommend some keywords for me. And uh, I'm not gonna go into exactly everything yet. We're gonna sort of just touch on these intro bits first, but you can see I have some keywords here that it recommends that I could possibly go for. Just zoom out a bit. And I can go through, check out, check these out, see if they're what I want and start working from there. Or the other option before we go through with the nitty gritty is we've got top keyword opportunities, in which case, MailChimp is already a low-hanging keyword, so if I click on that, it also gives me a list I can go, I can check out this keyword and any other related keywords and see if I wanna rank for any of those, if I wanna get more specific. But what I like about the Keyword Finder is, if I'm not looking to just piggyback off those keyword opportunities or things I rank for, maybe I wanna search for something else. So let's say I want to learn how to play a guitar. I type in learn, guitar, and hit enter. And it's got my keyword here, learn guitar, and it has a bit of information. So what this information is, we've got a related score, which underneath in this related keywords area, it shows you, it scores how related the keyword is to what I typed. So the higher the score, the better. So how to learn guitar is very related to learn guitar. Guitar lesson, guitar, fastest way to learn guitar. If I scroll to the bottom where the keyword relevancy is the least, down to one, easy guitar chords, Funnily enough, learn to play guitar it doesn't seem relevant, so you do have to use your best judgment, but it is trying to algorithmically tell you what is most related to your channel, which can be good to follow considering that the algorithm in itself is a machine trying to learn about your content. Now, the next one is a search volume. So the higher the search volume, obviously, we have talking about the relevancy before. Now the search volume right here, we can see how many searches we get per month. Fastest way to learn guitar gets 1,300 uh, searches per month, whereas something like guitar or guitar lesson, guitar lesson gets 152,000 searches per month. But you'll notice these are all very high competition. So what vidIQ have done, they've also created an overall score that you can follow. So if I sort by clicking these little arrows here, I can sort by worst to best, which I don't want, or best to worst. So 60 out of 100, is the highest scoring keyword. And you can see here, the search volume is about 8,000 a month, but it has low competition. So you can do a video on left-handed guitar. Or music theory actually has very high search, but it also has high competition. So if you feel like you could rank for that, you could go for it and get a ton of searches. But what I like to do is I can, I like to scroll through. Depending on my approach, I like to either click search volume first and find the highest keep clicking. So 7 million is Ed Sheeran. And I look for if there's any low competition showing up, which there doesn't seem to be. So now I switch it up and I go to competition and I rank it from lowest, the dashes I tend to ignore. And I then go, okay, what's gonna be out of the low competition, what's my highest 
uh, number I can choose. So left-handed guitar is actually an Alamo Music Center, are both great and they have low competition. So you can see here when it comes to just guitar, there's actually a lot of high competition. There's only two things here, but we can get a little more specific. So we go, okay, left-handed guitar. I want to dig on that a bit further. I can click on this keyword and we can slowly find longer, more specific keywords that are easier to rank for. So now if I scroll down, there's a lot of dashes, but you see we've got very low. So guitar, guitar, Epsom, uh, how to play left-handed guitar chords. And you can actually even come up with some related keywords from there. And it's just a matter then, if you have ideas, you can go in and punch in something else. So maybe we just say, uh, best gi for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or BJJ. But we'll type in best gi for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Anyone who does martial arts will sort of know what I mean here. Jiu Jitsu gi review, very low. Best Jiu Jitsu gis, very low. Uh, so we've got very few low search terms, but it's actually quite competitive. But uh, let's say here, we've gone, okay, I'm gonna look for Jiu Jitsu Gi Review. Maybe you want to start reviewing Gi's. You can click on that, and then you get all the related words there. I switched the search volume from highest to lowest, and you see we've got a bit of a mix. We've got high, high, very high, and then we get down. We see one here that is low, Hodger Gracie. We've got low, Marcelo Garcia. So people, the names are actually Light, so you can do such, such thing as what gis do does Marcelo Garcia wear or things like that. But the idea is when you find your keyword, so let's try something else such as Instagram. Obviously this is a very high keyword, social media marketing. Okay, let's go to social media marketing, digital marketing, let's go from low Social media marketing for beginners or social media marketing course. 83,000 searches, low competition. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna click on this now. And this is gonna be our main keyword. So when you're actually creating your YouTube video, you want to copy this into the title area. And then you can also take some of these related keywords here, tick them all, copy, and paste them into your tags or into your description because you also want related keywords in your tags and description to help rank that video. And if you can, you kind of want to have this main keyword both in your title, also in maybe the first sentence of your video and then maybe once or twice before, but throughout the rest of the description. And uh, that then makes it easy for you to find keywords and actually get a bit of an idea on how they should perform. And you can start creating videos around the competition and the keywords available. So that is pretty much it. That's that's. It's just a matter of going through and spending the time looking for keywords. And like I said, if you've got social media marketing course, maybe you want to have an Instagram marketing course, you can actually just use your own best efforts there. Instagram marketing course has low competition and three almost three and a half thousand searches. Instagram marketing is low and has 171,000. So you can actually search for Instagram marketing. So it's just a matter of spending the time searching, clicking on the related keywords and seeing what you find, even creating a short list of your own. And that way you can work out, okay, what is gonna be my best chance to rank my videos for search? Now, if you're interested in taking this a bit further, I'm gonna pop a video card up on the screen. Now it actually will show you how to create related keywords or find related keywords and optimize your YouTube video descriptions. Um, so if you wanna keep on with the keyword uh, information here from vidIQ, check out that video and it should help you rank your videos further. Okay, and uh, otherwise, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon and have a great day.